here. I think you did. Can you please pick that up? This is a nice soccer ball. Wow. Hold that up. Now, what's really cool, soccer ball is made up of two geometric shapes. Does anyone know what those two geometric shapes are? Pentagon's one. What's another one? It's a pentagon and a hexagon. Draw a circle on your page. And within that circle, I want you to draw, and they have to connect up together, I want you to draw a pentagon. So how many sides must that pentagon have? Five. Five. And then you're gonna draw a second shape that's gonna hook up, and it's gonna be a six-sided shape, which is a hexagon. We learned something about balance and measurement. In the, the middle of our structure is the sphere on the top, and then on each side is the this, this same shape, and that will make it balanced. But if we take that off and we put something heavier on there, we'll discover that that will fall off, or that sometimes it'll fall off. And then I have an open door for like a square. Okay. Uh, and on the top is a... Um, the thing that we were thinking was maybe cut construction paper, <coughs> laminate it, patch holes, mm -hmm. and this one would be, if we talk about polygons, uh, multi-sided shapes in the classroom, the kids we could do together, they give each of them a tray, right. and move around, okay, put some more, attach some more, what is it called? Right? Pentagon, yeah. then hexagon, heptagon, no, uh, octagon, no, I mean, it's learning and then it's fun. We talked about wind energy, wind energy and windmills. Now I'm on the left side of my room. Our angles. The shapeshifter agreed to turn it into one shape after another. A heptagon, an octagon, a nonagon, a decagon, and on and on. You need to build with your blocks. No. No. Little palaces, tables, and docks. Katie Peck is an architect and has been since he was two. When he built a great tower in only an hour, took nothing but diapers and glue. Oh! Good <laughs> gracious, Ignatius, his mother explained, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. But her smile faded fast as light, wind blew, as, sorry, but her smile faded fast as a light, wind blew past. And she realized those diapers weren't clean. <laughs> and blue Tall, small, small, tall, small, small. Awesome. Like a little gazebo on the side, and um, since we had some trouble putting the, the, the green on top, we kind of made it as grass, and um, you know, trying to use like the interlocking shapes to build. A friend here named it the Polynesian Culture uh, Center. Center. Mm -hmm. So um, our main building here took some problem solving because we actually have the square slats being held up by the bamboo um, cylinders. So they are in there if you want to see that. And we did, it did take some balancing and problem solving because um, being that they're cylinders obviously they're not just going to you know stand like this and it did take symmetry and stuff to get them to balance. We thought it was really fun. We're on the bridge to go back and forth. We have all our people kind of scattered around it. Um. And there's like a, a lighthouse right here. <laughs> wow, Japanese temple. In fact, we discovered that it wasn't staying up. So we started using the level and all these little thin pieces we had. So we had to shim different areas to make it level. And then after we got completely done and started making the wall, we realized the reason it wasn't level is because we have a ruler under part of our tray. <laughs>
the birds and then we make sure it's full so And on top of And then you can get a 3D shape, hold it up. Okay, what shape is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I drew the leaning tower of Pisa, the pancake arch. Are those from Iggy Peck? Those are the drawings from Iggy Peck, the yeah. architect. That's